olá, Deus te abençoe. Hello, God bless you. Thank God. Welcome to the Live Chain Today program. Thank you so much for being there. And may God bless you very much. Your home, your family, your day, may it be incredible, full of favor. May good news come. May you have energy, vision, the vision of heaven, discernment. Yes, I prophesy wisdom, intelligence, discernment upon you. A stable, consistent spirit. Don't look to the right nor to the left. Don't get distracted. Leave the past behind. Don't live in the past. God has something new. Move forward. Look up. Meditate on things above. Yes, meditate on the word day and night. Speak the word because faith comes from hearing and hearing the word of God. Stick with the word. What has God been speaking? Huh? Only good things, right? So, that's what you'll stick with. God brought you here. You are living an important moment. Yes, look at how far you have come. You've come. Look at how much you've walked. Look at what God is doing. Be thankful. The God who brought you here will continue to lead you. Let the favor of the Lord, our God, be upon us. And it will be. He is our God. And establish the work of our hands upon us. God will establish, confirm the work of our hands. God will establish the work of your hands. Yes, establish the work of our hands. God will establish the work of your hands. So, let's go to work. Have strength. Have courage. God has given us a spirit of courage, not of cowardice, timidity or discouragement no find joy in the spirit find joy in the spirit rejoice in the spirit get up with faith confidence optimism with a heavenly vision it's not about what we have or don't have but about God in our lives. We have God who helps us, who cares us, who promotes us, who takes us further, who comes and says, don't fear, for I'm with you. I will help you. I will sustain you. When you pass through the waters, I'll be with you. Through the fire, the flame will not burn you. Oh. It's so wonderful to have God. You don't need a fear entering the furnace. Because there will be no smell of fire on you. Or entering the lion's den. They won't be able to touch you. That's God. That's why David said, I would, I would have perished without a doubt. I had fainted unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And he saw. That's why he said, wait on the Lord. It was an advice he gave. Wait on the Lord. Be strong and he'll strengthen your heart. So you'll have to wait and be encouraged. It's a decision. 
And when you decide to live by faith and intentionally by faith, you say, no, I won't make like Sarah, rush things and try to solve and try to resolve things dis dysfunctionally outside of God. I will not rush. I won't rush. No, I'll do what I know I have to do. What does God expect from me? That I may do everything with excellence. Everything. That I may be righteous. Maybe you're struggling. I don't know. I've met people like that. Oh, I don't know what to do. And I simply said, I will respond to you based on the word. Everything that comes into your hands to do, do it, but do it with excellence. Give your best. Don't give in to laziness. Don't be negligent. For cursed is the one who does the work of the Lord negligently. Do it with excellence. You don't have to be mediocre. To do things halfway. Do it with excellence. Stay focused. You know why God placed you there. So stay focused. Don't get distracted. The devil works to distract us. And you have to make the decision. No. No. It's time for me to truly grow. So I'll have self-leadership. Self-control. Discipline. No, instability will no longer be part of my life. No, I will no longer live by what I feel or think, but by faith. So, do everything with excellence. Be whole. Integral. Follow God's ways. Don't cut corners. Do it the right way, God's way. And God's way, it's the right way. Trust. Oh, but they are saying, no, what, what is right? Do it God's way. There will always be a voice, someone, something to give you advice. Oh, just go this way. Oh, do it this way. No. What does the word tell me to do? I will follow God's ways. And don't accept division. A divided mind leads to instability. A divided kingdom leads to failure. A divided house collapses. A divided marriage collapses. That's why if there's one thing we need to combat urgently, It's division, strife, feelings of offense. Oh, I'm a little hurt, offended. No, 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 no. That's childish. That's childish. Mature people, grown ups, they let go of offense. This, this trap to contaminate us and distract us from our purpose. I've seen people living great things and losing them all because of what? Because even having everything, they focus on one little thing and stay there, dwelling on minor feelings or the terrible ingratitude or The ingratitude. I said yesterday, ingratitude has no memory. I've seen people who later say, no, I have nothing to complain about. Look, I have a wonderful spouse who takes care of me. I have healthy, wonderful children. I have a comfortable, blessed home, blessed food. I have health. I have a blessed life. No, if something is happening, it's the evil, it's the evil here, look, 
disrupting, trying to prevent me to prevent me from seeing all that God is doing. If your eyes are good, your whole body will be will be full of light. But of course, we see with our internal perspective. So if inside you there's only negativity and ingratitude. And miserable feelings, you look at everything that might be beautiful, wonderful, and you see what? Only ugliness, darkness, dissatisfaction, because some people are just, just fleeting. They what? They what? People, I've already seen. Look at Israel. They got used to miracles. Called miracles, miserable food. And that's why they attract serpents. Ingratitude. Why did that original group fall in the desert? Because of two things ingratitude and murmuring. Murmuring and ingratitude. Where there's murmuring, it's because there is ingratitude. There is ingratitude, there is murmuring. There will be defeat. The people had everything. They were the generation that saw the most miracles. And they ended up in the desert. Only Joshua and Caleb, with those born afterward, entered because of murmuring. Only Joshua and Caleb, with those born afterward, entered. Because of murmuring and ingratitude. Ingratitude is murmuring. What a sad thing. No. Don't, don't accept that for your life. Maybe you come from a background with a history like that. Maybe you or your family, you've lived with people like that all their lives. And... The devil wants you to repeat that pattern, that curse. But you must rise up and say, No, I, I'm drawing the line in the sand. I'm drawing the line in the sand. No, I will think about what can give me hope. I will get up, encourage myself in God, and do the right thing. What God expects of me. I'll give glory to God, praise God, exalt the name of the Lord, give a good testimony. I'll do the right thing, what God expects from me. What do you think God expects from you? Maturity, good testimony, praise. Whether you eat or drink, do all for the glory of God. People, I learned this. The food I prepare, I make as an act of worship. Anything I touch, I do with this awareness. Awareness. I learned to live with this awareness of God. God is here. God is watching. The, the eyes of the Lord range throughout the earth to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to Him for whole people. For what? So He can show His strength. So, you can be better than you have been. You can be a much better spouse, a much better parent. You can produce with much higher quality. You can be much better. Much better. So, don't accept living there, you know. There are things that are common, but not normal. It may be common, but it's not normal. Oh, everyone does it. Okay, it's common, but you're not everyone. So, it's not normal. There are many people, a bunch of people doing horrible, abominable things. It's common. Oh, everyone gets divorced. Oh, everyone is in debt. Oh, everyone does it this way. Fine, it may be common, but it's not normal. The normal is in an abundant life, a life of peace, balanced, generous, kind, polite people. With self-control, disciplined, 
That's it. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. See, arise, arise, for your light has come. Hey, it's time for you to live. Maybe things you've prayed for, sought, anointed. I've seen people complain about the blessings they spend their lives asking for. Like Israel, arise, shine. For your light has come, and the glory of the Lord, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you, maybe you. You've been involved in some darkness and aren't seeing what God is doing. But there are those on the outside who see, oh my God, look, look at what God is doing in that person's life. So stop with that. See? Darkness covers the earth, and thick darkness is over the, the peoples. But the Lord rises upon you. But the Lord rises upon you, and His glory appears over, over you. Nations will come to your light. Hey, nations will come to your light. So you're the light that will attract people and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Look around, lift up your eyes and look about you, all assemble and come to you. Look what God is saying. Many people will come to you. Your sons come from afar and your daughters are carried on the heap. God will bring many sons and daughters carried in his arms for you to care for, for you to be a good testimony. Then you will look and be radiant. Look at this. Then many people, when they meet you, they'll be happy, radiant. They will be lifted up. Your heart will throb and swell with joy. The wealth on the seas will be brought to you. To you, the riches of the nations will come. Look at what God is promising you, oh my Lord. All the supply and provision you need. Herds of camels will cover your land. Young camels of Midian and Ephah and all from Sheba will come. Bearing goat and incense, incense and proclaiming the praise of the Lord. Hey, there are herds of camels coming there, going there. Bearing good. The camels are coming. Oh my God. Hallelujah. All Kedar's flocks will be gathered to you. The rams of Neboyoth will serve you. They will be accepted as offerings on my altar, and I will adorn my glorious temple. God is promising provision and supply for all. Herds of camels arriving, loaded with gold. He owns the gold and the silver. Who are these that fly along like clouds, like doves to their nests? Who are they that say, it's me? Yes. Another day, the Lord said that you will soar. Surely the islands look to me. In the lead are the ships of Tarshish. Bring in your children from afar with their silver and gold to the honor of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, for He has endowed you with splendor. Endowed you with splendor. Is there anything bad here? There are promises and incredible promises and foreigners will rebuild your walls. Oh, God will use people you can't even imagine to support you. And their kings will serve you. Though in anger I struck you, in favor I will show you compassion. 
Maybe you've already gone through some tough patches, but you have seen the Lord's compassion, the Lord's love. So get up, praise God, glorify God, for He deserves to be worshipped for all the good He has done. Your gates shall be open continually. Continually, nobody will be able to shut it. To shut it. Day and night they shall not be shut. What is God saying? That He has opened doors for you. And they will remain open day and night. No one will be able to close it, to close them. That people may bring to you the wealth of the nations with their kings led in procession. Hey, God is saying that He has opened doors for you that will stay open day and night and will bring you riches and kings. You will connect with kings. It means with people of great importance and well for a purpose which is His kingdom. So get up as the winner you are and behave as the winner you are. You are more than a conqueror. You fight with victory and trust in God. For herds of camels are arriving loaded with goat. The doors are open and will remain open day and night. And you'll see provision through those doors that you've ne that you never imagined. Come on, get up, arise and shine. Arise and shine, because there may be many problems and darkness out there, but it will only be glory upon you. The glory of the Lord is on your life. Trust in God and give glory to God. For He is blessing you today. If you believe, desire, and want to pray with me, prepare something you want to receive prayer for. I'll be right back to pray with you. Senhor meu Deus e meu Lord my God and my Father I pray for the dear life that is with me and I ask Lord oh Holy Spirit may you move here move come in favor of this person I pray that you touch them deeply may this word have filled flooded their heart then they have put it on that they have received it and already gotten up with faith, courage, strength, and encouragement because you are with them. What a word, what a gift. They don't have to fear. They just need to focus on the right thing, which is you and your work and not deviate even a millimeter, neither to the right nor to the left. No, 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 no. You have placed them in a place of growth. And now they must focus on that growth that is to honor you and, and go to a higher level. It's from glory to glory, from victory to victory, meditating on the work, speaking the work, focus, focus on the work, loving the work, passionate about you, Lord, set on fire by the Spirit. That is how they shall live, being guided day and night by your word and by the Holy Spirit. I bless homes, families, all who have sent their prayer requests. I consecrate everything and I take possession of changes, victories, definitions. I take possession of open doors. I take possession of each word. I take possession of this new time together, together with them. I bless my friends and fellow sowers. I prophesy the gift of wealth, prosperity, an anointing of conquest, an anointing of ten times more. Oh Lord, raise more sowers because we need them in wherever this program is reaching. May lives be powerfully strengthened and renewed. May this word have, Lord, healed and uplift your people. May this glory be upon them, Lord. 
may they take possession of it and advance powerfully. And your name will be glorified. May they receive peace and joy. Renew and advance. And may they advance to a higher level. Thank you for everything. I ask for your blessing. I give my blessing. And I thank you for your goodness and faithfulness. Amen. 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 Thank God. The life of blind phone number is 5511 3296 We are located at 995 Takwari Street in Sao Paulo, Brazil. It's where we are. And today, Enduring Dynasty, what a powerful work. Love this work. Enjoy it. Don't waste opportunities like this. In any way, because... It makes a difference. Sunday baptism. Join us. Be among us. Always count on us. It is a pleasure to serve. And if the Lord Jesus doesn't come back, I will continue here talking about life and life change. Have a nice day. Amen.